Hassan Nasrallah, Secretary General of the Lebanese Hezbollah, has said that the United States does not want the Islamic State group to be defeated in Syria. Nasrallah accused the U.S. of providing material support through its local bases in Syria, notably in Raqqa and also Al-Tanf near the Jordanian border where he claims his troops are trained. Opinion The U.S. wants the Islamic State group to win in Syria It is only the United States, which does not let Daesh be totally annihilated, he said in a speech during in the North Bekar town of Allen. He added that the U.S. Air Force does not allow the Syrian army and resistance groups to advance toward positions occupied by Daesh, referring to a series of airstrikes launched by the U.S. on targets battling as in Deir Ezzor and Raqqa. In September the 2016, Russia called for a special session of the United Nations Security Council when the U.S. launched white phosphorus bombs at Syrian army positions in Deir Ezzor which killed and injured nearly 200 Syrian soldiers and inadvertently allowed the group to advance. Nasrallah stressed the importance of continuing the fight against is despite U.S. setbacks. If we do not continue the war against Daesh, the Takfiri group will hit again and resume its campaign of massacre and terror. Turning towards Lebanon, the Secretary General claimed that the U.S. is not supportive of the Lebanese army fighting as in certain areas, which he claimed could be seen through periodic cessation of aid to the Lebanese army from the U.S. opinion how the U.S. backed the ISIS takeover and destruction of Palmyra responding to recent controversy surrounding the Iran nuclear deal. Nasrallah claimed that Israel and the U.S. have consistently lied about Iran's nuclear program to delegitimize Iran's influence in the Middle East region. Nasrallah said Saudi Arabia and the U.S. have joined forces to put pressure on Iran. In closing, Nasrallah said that the U.S.-Saudi plot to overthrow the Syrian government would ultimately fail despite the resources supplied to opposition forces by the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, again stressing the need to continue the fight against the Islamic State.